Hi, this is Kevin from Sapio, and today I'm very excited to talk about the collaborative work we've done with Chemaxon and integrating it with Exemplar, our seamless digital lab solution. First, I want to review the features that are part of the integration that we're going to cover. So we have full integration. Exemplar is a LIMS and an ELN on a single digital platform, and we've wanted to have chemistry support and Chemaxon being one of the leaders in the chemistry space, uh, it was a great opportunity for us to work with them and, and integrate their products in our solution. So the primary interface that uh, used with Chemaxon is Marvin Sketch for drawing uh, compounds. So we've integrated Marvin directly in our uh, exemplar ELN. And this enables you to draw compounds and reactions. Once you draw them and save them, we can register them in, in Chemaxon and we also register them directly inside exemplar itself. Once we do that, we get the properties from Chemaxon. So they return things like molecular weight, uh, the smiles, and other metadata that we get back, and we store that as well in Exemplar. Chemaxon has strong searching capability for compounds, and we leverage that to do similarity, substructure, and exact search uh, for compounds that you draw. For reactions, you can draw the reactions in Marvin, um, and, and then when you save it, we store the reaction components separately with their own images in a, in a table that you'll see. And we also auto-compute stoichiometry. So uh, we implemented stoichiometry here based on your yield. Uh, we'll compute the stoichiometry and show that to you in a table uh, below Marvin uh, drawer. Now you can take the reaction product you create and click a button inside your experiment, and we will create a new experiment that we link with your prior experiment. And the reaction product becomes input to a new reaction. So you can essentially chain your reactions together across experiments, and we have a nice visual showing that chaining as well uh, in the product. And they have a directionality. So when you're going from one reaction to another reaction to another reaction, it's not just that these experiments are linked. It's the order they're linked in that matters. And we actually store that order uh, as well. And the last nice feature here is you can actually generate a PDF. So when you do this chaining of reactions, it'd be nice if you could have a single document you could look at that shows, okay, this was the initial reaction formula, this is the next one, the next one, et cetera. And we, in fact, have that available in the system, and I'll show that to you today. <clears throat> okay, so we're inside uh, Exemplar right now, and you're looking at the Marvin drawer here. And uh, I'm going to put in some simple structures. So here we have... Uh, I put in this molecule and we're going to add in a very simple uh, item here. Now I could save here, I could search on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go right into doing a uh, reaction. And by the way, you notice you can resize entries in here. So I can make it the size I want. I can click the plus sign here and then I can draw that I'm going to do a reaction. And I'm gonna insert another item and we're just gonna connect these two together. Uh, through our reaction, so we'll put one here, and if I click here, it, it connects that for me automatically. And then I'll put this um, phosphorus one here again, like that. So I've drawn a simple reaction, and I can save that very quickly. And here's where you get the stoichiometry. If we want to compute yield, we can say yes. It asks how much we want of each one, and I'll just put some numbers in here and say okay. And you'll notice we create this table underneath that has uh, the products of the reaction um, and uh, the values, some computed, some we get from Chemaxon. There's our theoretical yield. And then the reactants uh, that were part of this uh, reaction are in here, as well as the reaction itself. And we have images of each of these, as well as other metadata like substance names, et cetera, that are brought back from uh, Chemaxon. As I mentioned, you could do searching. So we have substructure, similarity, and exact. If I pick similarity and say search. And by the way, when I save this, uh, we registered uh, in Exemplar as well as in Chemaxon. So now it's doing a search. We're actually going to Chemaxon here and asking for a search, and we get back a set of matches. And I can select uh, these items and add them to the entry. And when I go back, then uh, it'll show here in the small molecule section. I could I could uh, select that and work with it as well directly. Now, when I submit this, um, it says, do we want to, you know, if we already have this uh, molecule or compound existing in the system, we can, uh, the system will alert you to that and ask if you want to use that one or do you want to create a new one? I'm saying we're going to use the existing one uh, that we have instead of creating a new entity. 
to work with. Okay, at this point, if I want to link uh, this reaction into another experiment, I can do that through this uh, toolbar button here. So I'm going to copy this reaction to a new notebook, and it's going to take the product. I can call it uh, and then it'll ask if I want to navigate there, and I will, and you see it named experiment properly. And now we have our reaction product. And I could create a new reaction and chain that together with this one and then link again. We actually show that linkage here. If you click this uh, link icon, you can see the link between those two experiments. In fact, I'll go to one that's a little more elaborate. So here's a, the end result of a multi-chain reaction. And if I click the linking here, you'll see we have uh, more experiments linked together um, that actually started like this. So this was the initial one. Then I had a link to this one. I had a reaction product that went here, then a reaction product that went here, and a reaction product that went here. And I could navigate to any experiment from here by clicking on it and saying uh, navigate to it. I could modify the linkage from here as well. But we're already uh, going to present a PDF that shows the uh, reaction chaining. So on any of the Marvin Drawer uh, interfaces, you have this PDF icon. We will go and find the linked experiments, we'll find the reaction products, and we'll consolidate those diagrams into a single document, which you're gonna see here. So here we're showing the reaction progression from the initial experiment, uh, and then this fed into that, which created that, which fed into that, which fed into this, which is in this current experiment that we're in. So we're very excited about this partnership we have with ChemAxon. Um, it, you know, we already had strong uh, capabilities in biology and other domains. And now we have this chemistry functionality that we're excited to uh, have our opportunity uh, of our customers to work with. If you have any questions, please uh, contact ChemAxon support or Sapio. Thank you.